I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring permutations and organized counting. Here is question number three. How many four digit numbers can be formed with following restrictions? A. Using digits 1 to 7. B. Using digits 0 to 7. C. The number is odd. D. Using only odd digits. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. One thing you will note here that is it these numbers can be repeated, right? So here repetition is allowed. So that is important to know. That is to say a number like 1111 is possible. Is that okay? It's a four digit number, a valid number. Is it okay? So how many four digit numbers? So we'll make four places. One, two, three, four. Can be formed using digits one to seven. So one to seven, we have no restriction. There are seven numbers in all. So you can put seven numbers here. Since repetition is allowed, you can again put seven numbers, seven numbers and seven numbers, correct? So you get seven to the power of four as your answer. Seven times seven times seven, right? So let's figure it out. It is seven to the power of four, which is equal to 2401. Okay. The second one here is using digits zero to seven, right? Now in four places, I cannot place zero in the thousands place, right? So we have only seven options here. But in the other places, we could place all eight. So eight, eight, eight. So it is seven times eight cube. Is it okay? So let's figure this out. The answer is seven times eight times eight times eight, which is equals to 87 sorry 8704 is it okay so that becomes the answer for the the second one let me do it again 7 times 8 times 8 times 8 that gives you yeah I knew this is looked wrong so 3584 so 7 times 8 cube is 3584 correct Part C is the number is odd. A four digit number which is odd means what? One, two, three, four. Now, since the repetition is allowed, in the first place, we could place any number. Now, when we say the number is odd, which digits are we using? Well, in general, the digits are zero to nine. Is it okay? So there are 10 digits in all, correct? In the first place, we cannot use zero, but we could use other nine. So we have nine options for the first place. In the second and third place, there are no restrictions. All 10 can be used, is it okay? The number is odd, that means in the last place, we could only use the numbers like one, three, five seven and nine that is one two three four five of these correct so that becomes the solution for the given case and therefore the answer is nine times ten times ten times five is that clear so let's figure it out how much it is so it is nine hundred times five which is forty five hundred so forty five hundred becomes the answer next is using only odd digits so when we use only odd digits then our option is to use numbers one three five seven and nine these are five in number and we have to form four digit number is it okay so you could have any five of them any five of them since repetition is allowed so that becomes your answer five to the power of four right so it is five to the power of four which is 625 so that is how you could answer these questions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. So whenever you're allowed to repeat the digits, you should use the fundamental counting principle 
using multiplication counting principle, right? Number of ways in which first, I mean, in this case, thousand place can be filled times number of ways in which hundred places can be filled, number of ways times tens place can be filled times the number of ways you can fill the ones place. You only multiply them, you get your answer. Okay. Permutation cannot be allowed here since we are repeating the numbers. I hope that is absolutely clear. Amandil Kumar, please feel, fair, uh, please feel free to share my videos. Subscribe to them. Write comments if you like. Post questions. Thank you and all the best.